Roll. I'm just getting things set up. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty much... Well, actually, I don't know if it's Drill or Killer, the video game. All I know, I'm going into this game completely blind. Is that presumably there is a man who kills a great number of people with a power drill. But that's it. I don't know anything else. And Swade, I think, maybe maybe you spoiled it. That dude in the Swade. In that he said it's a little jump, very jump scary, which actually is disheartening because I don't like jump scare games. Jump scare games. In fact, I don't even know if I can get it to run. This is the first time I've tried running it. So I guess, hello, Andy. I won't be eating the whole time. I'm with my snack on right now. If it's something Brad should play, well, I guess we'll find out. Because if it's really, really bad, yeah, I can maybe rope Brad into playing it. We'll see. But yeah, I have no idea what to expect. I'd heard good things going into it until Swade stuck his head in there. <laughs> How long is my hair? Um, I don't know. Yay long? <laughs> it's below below nipple length. Well below nipple length. Thank you. Below the below nipple hair club? It's an exclusive club. But strangely, it's not below both nipples. I'll figure that out. Alright. What else gross can I do before I start? Not much. Actually, let me put my hair up, so that's the worst thing about having long hair, is it's always in my face. And I'm the kind of guy who's fidgety as it is. And the last thing I need is something to constantly fidget with. Oh, Malice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in all honesty, I probably will use the nine ninety nine to get a haircut. I, I don't... Does... What what place works cheap? Uh, Spore, uh, Spore Clips is... I would never go to Spore Clips, but... It'll go, it'll go to a good cause. <laughs> I'll work on it, Alice. Ugh. All right. Let's get limbered up. Are you ready for some power drill massacring? So what 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 kind of odds you give me? Ugh. See, because I'm the protagonist, I'm gonna put I've gotta put everything all in on the fact that I'm gonna survive. Makes sense, right? It wouldn't make sense to bet on me dying. Thank you, Gary. Uh, I don't have the council. Um, I've never, I've, I've heard the title, and that's about it. So, technically, yes, I would consider streaming it, but I don't have it. Ten to one dying on first five minutes. Ooh, I don't know about that because there might be a tutorial or something. And maybe maybe the power drill maniac doesn't work that fast. Maybe he likes a little foreplay. You know, a little bit of chasing around. Jump scaring him. You know. Then again. <clears throat> then again. This is kind of an indie title, I think. So it might be the kind where he just jumps out and kills you. Like this this could be over record time. I've seen I've seen all kinds. He likes to screw with you? Yeah. 
when you're a power drill killer, I wouldn't think you'd really be the kind of screw with your type. Ugh, pardon me. All right. 31 and a half. Wow, that's specific. I like your style, though. So none of you give me the none, none of you are giving me a shot at even possible victory. All right. Let's see how it goes. Well, if you're daring, you can take the odds on whether or not I can get the game even started. This is not a certainty. So we'll see. Ah, there we are. And it's it's not letterboxed. Dang it. Let's move this over. Yeah! It sounds like Evangelus is off tune, like trying to tune up to play the Blade Runner theme. Now, here's the other question. Since this is VHS style. Was this the was this an era before that we had uh, cordless power drills? Because if this is a corded power drill killer, that really limits his mobility. Oh shit! God that damn, that's loud. Ah, that's so loud. There's no... Uh. Alright, let me, let me... Let me try to fuck with the sound a little bit, because this is... That was pain. That hurts so bad. Okay, that took it down by half. Let's see how that... Ah. That sound cuts through me like a knife. There's no audio controls. That's... Okay, we'll try to... We'll try to... Deal with it. Keyboard? Sorry, can't modify the dynamic feature yet. Okay, we're going keyboard on this one. Let's go. Oh. Well, I'll go. We'll go keeper. Pardon me. I got. I got. I got a controller, but I don't want to mess with it right now. Maybe this will be the last time that. Then again, we are talking about a drill that has an excruciatingly loud whirring sound. So this is really gonna be nasty. Start the clock! Come on, the radio has a, tr a tracking feature. You can let it search. It's 
sunrise, you better take care. of the pack. Uh, your subtitles are, are blending in with your static. Jeff, are you okay? Ugh, I can't feel my legs. Don't worry, Jeff. I'll go get help. This is the worst headache ever. But I think I'm alright. Oh, that's me. Okay. I'm Molly Ringwald. Whoa! Hey! Wait! Where's Jeff? Is that... Uh, I I don't see Jeff. Oh God, the floaty the mouse is so floaty. Uh, okay, so I it's got turret walking controls. <laughs> That's the sound of picking up a flashlight. Hang on. Ah. Camera orbital fixed. I'll try fixed, because that's loud. Oh, the, okay, We're now we're Resident Evil here. With the... This is going to be bad. I, I... I am now lost. Okay, I'm behind the... Haha! <laughs> well, I think... Jeff might be in... pieces. I, I, I don't think Jeff is gonna recover from this. Oh, God. My sweater is fucking had it, I'll tell you that. Man, we really lost the road. We're sorry. Due to budget limitations, that is the uh, uh that's the limit of the soundtrack we could afford. Power Drill Massacre is sponsored by Moog Industries, maker of the Moog Synthesizer 2600. The music just exploded, like, in digital fun. Well, one thing's for sure, I can't be killed by a power drill this far out here, uh, away from civilization. Wow, I, I really feel bad for Jeff. We may be beyond help. Especially since he desperately needs a head transplant right about now. When did I get so fat? I guess I always been. How can you tell I'm fat just from my head? I guess, well, I guess if I'm that fat, my head would be really fat. Well, 
Well, we better start running, otherwise game will be over and nothing will happen. Uh, actually, we are out of game now. Jeez, yeah, we'd better run. Hello? What I wouldn't give for a nice evil mansion. You know, slasher games back in the VHS era, VHS era did take a lot longer to get started. Oh, oh, this is a rental. Tracking's fucked. If I die and I get kicked right back to the beginning, I this is going to be a really short playthrough. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy up there. Hi there. Can I use your phone? And he's gone. He got uh, the tracking killed him. Ah. Thank you, Travis. This could be a really short game, especially if I just, if that was the killer and I just, like, walk right up to him. It's like, wow, that was easy. I like the footstep sounds. Clank, clank, clank. Okay, my... can't open the door, at least I don't think so. Not an option. I, I say there's been a terrible accident. Why did that work? What a creepy building. We found Banksy's house. Oh, man. Okay. We just walk right into the else world. Yukes. How many bathrooms do you need? Like, how many people you got over at any given time? Just a greasy old toilet. Toilets should be many things. Greasy? Not one of them. Give me a good old crack house any day.
I love slasher killer slashers who are you know, really uh, sentimental and keep newspaper clippings. Search teams for two missing campers in the Pocono Mountains. Mason C. Sergeant and Lori Summers of Long Island, New York, have been missing since June eighth. Their campsite and belongings have been located, but investigators have few leads. Police say there are no visible signs of a struggle on this, and apparently there's a hurricane outside now. And we may there there may be Klingons trying to board us. I got a key with green on it. I'm, somebody's just gonna jump out and kill me. This, and, and I'm gonna be right back, right back to the beginning. I just know it. And the the character control. The I have to s turn like a tank turret. This is no good. Whoop. I feel like I'm being watched here. Can I save? That's a good question, but I don't think so. No. Somebody flipped the table. Yeah, it's probably better with a controller. Hmm. Hi. What is this now? This place is just horrible. Wait. Sugar Tunnel. I don't want to go in the sugar tunnel. Uh-oh. We're, do we're doing the exorcist thing. The exorcist thing where we just splice in single frames of really scary shit. Okay. We're gonna play it like that, huh? I'll go to the fucking sugar tunnel. Nothing good ever happens in a place called the sugar tunnel. It's like even in the Willy Wonka factory. You don't wanna go in the sugar tunnel. I will give this place credit for one thing. It's bigger on the inside. This is... Fine. This is a building that would never exist in life. Hey, a new zone. You gotta be kidding me with this place. <laughs> what possible reasoning could there be to make a place like this? This this place is literally just set up for a slasher to jump out at you from any given angle. I found his comic book collect. That's a moldy newspaper article. Braden, build a close! 
After a series of accidents, the Brandon Sawmill will be shut down this month by state regulators who seek to lease the land to the State Park Commission. But some residents say the ground is cursed, and after decades of mishaps, fires, and deaths, it's ripped. Oh, that's the article has stopped. <laughs> Just dusty old books and other junk. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's so he ripped the article in half and threw them to other halves of the the, the room. The original building, the Sunshine Children's Orphanage. Which was then repurposed into a sawmill. Okay. Purchased by the eccentric millionaire. <laughs> millionaire and inventor who rose to fame during World War II for some reason. And then later committed suicide after allegations of child abuse, child abuse inside the factory. Mort left no will, and the property was forfeited to the state. It's ripped. It's swole. Wait, I saw a shiny here. Where's the shiny? Fuck. Don't do this. He's going to get me. He's in the room. The third part of the newspaper article. What remained of the building was converted into the Brandon Sawmill. Since opening, seven workers have lost their lives due to, due to, D-O-T-O, what state officials call a pattern of nearly criminal negligence in an effort to cut costs. The safety was caused by faulty equipment, mostly rope and harness failures. After the six, first six deaths, the seventh one, I really doesn't have anybody to blame, you know? Whoa, the frame rate just knows. The killer is definitely in the room now. There's nothing else in here. That was This is the backstory room. There's, see, okay. Here's my problem. He's just going to jump out and get me. And it's going to be a really loud noise. And I'm just going to be pissed off. And I'm not scared. I'm just dreading the really loud noise because I know it's going to be really loud. This... The, uh, the the floor plan it, it it is something I guess when you when you have an orphanage you want to make the place interesting to explore keep them busy and make sure they'll they'll get lost forever in their own house and never find a rescue uh, what is with Okay, the single frame bullshit, I'm over it. The single frame is scary shit. I, I, I like the the drains set in the wall for when, when the gore gets too, uh, higher than ankle deep, you know? This is just chaos. Oh, come on. What is... What was that? It would take... It would take investigators a year to clear this place. Well, I found the secret of the ooze. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
Oh, what is that? Stop it! Here he comes. We're getting more and more intense flashes, so he's just, he's gonna be here. He sure is shit gonna hear me coming. A pentagram. That's neat. The Undertaker! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me with this. You gotta be kidding me. Stop it! Make it stop! It's... You think that's what I want from you? Is to... Look, it... It's a greasy piano! Found John Benet Ramsey. Oh, this is that's Christopher Robin. This is the Hundred Acre Wood right there. See that? Ah, oh, there's the whooping Bible. Whoa! I, something happened. <laughs> this reminds me of college. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Search it for shit. Oh, God. A hammer and some knife. You don't think those are large enough to defend yourself with? Well, it beats nothing. And, you know, why don't you try the giant fucking ladle over there? That'll kill anybody. What the fuck is this? Oh, I thought it was a turkey leg. It is- oh, it- ew! Somebody tried flushing a bone down the toilet. Is, are you sure? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't know what that is, but I don't think why you ever thought it was going to go down that toilet. I, I, besides, I think it might be a little too late to cover this one up. There's, so there's nothing in here. What, what was that? Are you fucking kidding me?
Hi. You're a tall motherfucker, ain't you? Hi. Can I use your phone? <laughs> me, me, Spoonie. How? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? He's not bad. Uh, the... <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! that that was it and the, the thing is the game the game bombed to desktop after that I didn't close it the game closed itself <laughs> I I'm just I'm trying to... What do I say? What was he doing? He like... He, he strips you naked, puts you in a fucking cage. And then he just like stands there doing seriously doing this he he was just making squeak if he was saying something if if i was meant to be able to understand that I didn't get that. But he just kind of made like little. He he made, he made just squeaky sounds, and then ran away. Played what I presume to be like a music box, and then just like fucking Wolverine charged me with a drill. <laughs> he said Laurel. He said a lot of things. But it, if Laurel was in there, I missed it. it <laughs> Hang up. He was like speaking Jawa. <laughs> Some people hear Yanni. I, I, yeah, actually, I did. I did. That was terrible. That was really terrible. And I don't know what that had to do with... That had nothing to do with either an orphanage or... A, a, a fucking... Um, logging camp or whatever it was. A mill? Like a sawmill or whatever? That had nothing to do with anything. 
Like, if it was originally an orphanage, why was there, like, fresh bones and meat, like, in the toilet? That was, like, eight years ago. There's a there's a whole wiki attached to the This game has fans? <laughs> that was Jeff. Now, how did Jeff beat me to the building? Come on, be real. Especially since he didn't have a head. He left his head in the car. Yeah, well, the, yeah, this is, it's not a demo so much as like an early build. It's not finished yet, but. It has sequels. Well, it's here, here's the problem. Here's my problem. I don't want to play it again. And I don't say that because I'm scared. I say that because I'm going to load it up. And it's going to be really quiet and really quiet and really quiet. Then, ah! like, just that sound. It's, it's, I'm not scared. It's the sound that hurts me, physically hurts me. And how did I get what? I looked away. That's the thing is, when I ended up in the cage, I looked away to the chat room for a split second. A split fucking second. And then I look, my eyes flick back, and then the screen is just white. Like, and there's that loud noise, and I'm screaming. The, the character is screaming, and I'm all in. I, I don't know what happened. Did, did something happen? Or did the screen just explode into white fuzz? It must have been, like, no more than three-tenths of a second that I looked away. There were, like, ten polygons that attacked me. I missed it. I That was an ending? I could hear somebody moving. Yeah, I, I could hear somebody moving, but then I was, I was like... Ah! That was an ending. So I won? I won! Normally he just kills you. I, 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 I demand, I demand my prize! What do I win? It was a bad ending, but I won. Nothing. Hang on. I want I just want to see what happens when I start the game up over again. It's probably just going to start right over, but But well, well the reason I say it is because The reason I say it is, I've been playing... Uh, the The last game I played was Anatomy, the horror game. And that game would crash all the time, and you were supposed to load it back up because something would be different. And Anatomy was fucking awesome. We're here. Yeah. What, load game? There's no load. There's... If you die normally, you start at the house. Oh, so if he, if he just runs up and kills me, like just normally, then I start at the house. But now I'm going to start over at the... I can't escape! The cutscene is inescapable! Oh, no. No, I'm not doing this again. Oh, man. Okay, I got it, I got it. Ha!
I'm not doing that again. I, I, I'm just not curious enough to to want to open it up and and. I we heard all that guy had to say. <laughs> there can be no more plot to this. That's. What we just saw was what that guy does with his entire day. Is apparently he just sits in a nasty fucking nursery wearing a weird mask with a power drill in one hand and his own dick in the other making weird squeak making weird squeaky noises. And sometimes a real girl wanders in here by accident and he just he stares at her and squeaks for a bit and then just gets bored and then Tackles her with a drill. I liked his drill technique. His drill technique was just ah. <laughs> he, he 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 charged you with the power drill. He put force behind it. Yeah, he tackled her through the chicken coop. Yes. His his technique is unique. I I just I feel like I should have more to analyze about it, but I really don't. This that game made no sense. Like I could have grown up I could have grown up in that house or building. I could have grown up in there and at the age of thirty six I'd still be lost. And then he yelled, well, I don't know if he yelled a Bible quote so much as one just appeared. But I won. And you said, you said that I had no chance. You said I wouldn't last five minutes. I think we all have proven who the real fool is here. All right. Well, there's 222 of you here. What else you want to do? Because I ain't playing that game again. Fuck that. If you want me to play that game again, just find somebody else who's in your house and, like, stand, like, really weirdly close in front of them and just go, like, and then just blow an air horn in their face. For like 30 seconds. And that's that's the game. The Royal Wedding? No. I don't, I don't think so. <clears throat> well, there's one that came in second place. Okay, I'll, let, me, let me take a look at that. Because I don't know anything about these games really. The one that came in second place on the poll was Home Sweet Home. Which is a first-person horror adventure game based on Thai myths and beliefs. The core gameplay focuses on storytelling and stealth to avoid the perilous spirits hunting you. Also puzzles. It looks like it looks like a game where my 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 Thai girlfriend Lisa jumps up and scares me and makes really loud noises. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying my patience my patience for jump scares and loud screechy noises is is already at its end. It it took exactly one of those one scare for me to run out of patience with that. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Oh, you want to see Batman again? I'll tell you what, I don't want to go into it, but man, the first, 
the first chapter of that new Batman series was, thinking back on it, it was really bad. It was really bad. Like, okay, for instance, that opening scene in, in Batman where you're at the casino, that game, that, that scene is so stiff and weird. It's, you're watching it going like, this is not what's happening because it's supposed to be a casino, but there's like six people total in the entire building. There's like four dealers, one other person playing, and then Bruce. This is supposed to be a casino in Gotham City. I I could hear I, I could hear the Baccarat de uh, dealer from across the room scratching her ass. That's not a casino. I, I I get the feeling that scene was supposed to be on a busy casino floor with literally hundreds of people. You know, when when the Riddler attacks and takes hostages. But in this case, the Riddler attacks and one guy with a wrench takes the entire floor hostage, both of them. There was nobody in there. That was so strange. Like, I, I could picture this being in a movie where there's like, you know, the, the Riddler having like hundreds of people hostage. And this seems way more dramatic that way. But instead, it's all like everything's very quiet. And this is a like this is the shittiest casino. Like if you were to walk in there, you would leave right away. You'd be like this. The action at this casino is fucking dead. No music. There's absolutely no music. There's always music at a casino. Shit. Yeah, it felt like it felt like what should have. No, not even a fight club. Not like an underground fight club. That would have had people watching. There was like six people in that place, counting Batman, the Riddler, and the Wrench. I, I don't know what the problem there was. Like, I, I seriously think it was like limitations of the gameplay engine. Like, I, I don't know, maybe like that engine can only really handle maybe six people on screen at a time. So they could they they couldn't do a thing where there was like a hundred people there because the engine would have just smoke would have started pouring out your computer and it explodes. But yeah, you know, Playboy billionaire Bruce Wayne is walking around his completely and his completely empty casino floor, trying to look inconspicuous or some shit. I, that was bizarre. Yeah, I, I should play the second one because I do want to see what they did with Harley. That, that's probably pretty interesting, but... The party at Wayne Manor had much more people? Yeah, then I don't know what the deal was. I, I don't know what the problem there was, because but that, that... That scene at the casino did not come off well. It, it was really, really bad. I don't know. And the first one, the Harvey Dent rally had like 30 people. Then I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Jack. I mean, seriously, Jack, it comes down to bad direction. Like, whoever directed that scene and put it together had just really dropped the ball on that. I don't know. Okay, well... I'm not going to eat in front of you. So, how about this? I will try to come up with a different game. And I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can come back pretty soon. I don't know what I want to play now because Power Drill Massacre actually kind of pissed me off. And I want to play something fun. I don't want to play something that... That, that 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 just shrieks at me for no reason and then hits me in the face with an off out of context bible quote and i mean like screams for a long time in my ear i don't want that anymore <laughs> that was that was just mean and but, but uh, by the way 
if there was a power drill sound effect, I didn't fucking hear it. So somehow I managed to beat the game Power Drill Massacre without ever once encountering the sound of a power drill, and I got killed by a power drill. Airhorn Massacre would actually be kind of an interesting... Uh, Okay. Cuphead? I played Cuphead. Let, let me let me think about this. and Yeah, the, well, the, the, I didn't even see a cord, so I figure... Yeah, I just figure he just ran up and stabbed me with it. I I don't quite get the point of... Why, why did he strip me naked and put me in a cage? He was just going to run up and stab me with a drill. Like, uh, if he was just going to run up and stab me with an unplugged power drill... <laughs> I thought he was going to do something weird, like I, I, like do a weird Buffalo Bill dance and then fuck me or something like that. No, he was just like, now you're naked. <laughs> he went to a lot of effort to just run up and stab me. It, it seemed like he had, he really wasn't prepared. Like he was going to, he was going to plan like a little song and dance number, but he just didn't have time to finish. I got there a little too early. And so he's like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. I don't know. Let me think about it. S- okay, SCP Containment Breach. I've, I downloaded that game, which as far as I can tell is legal. If it's not, then I don't know anything about it. But I can find, like, apparently it's a really popular kind of horror game, but I can find surprisingly little info about just even remotely what it's like. And I don't want to spoil it by watching another Let's Play. Okay, it's legal. Good. But, uh, yeah, it, it just seems like it's... Honestly, it just seems like just running around another bunch of... An, uh, of a bunch of samey-looking gray steel hallways and then having a monster jump out and eat you, which, I mean, I, I guess that's what I signed up for, but... You know. There's a new version on Steam. Okay. I'll, I'll take a look at that. People say it's a great... It, isn't this just, like, Slenderman-type shit? Okay, there's like five things. There's SCP, and then there's a bunch of Moonspeak. The Will of a Single Something. And then there's SCP Secret Laboratory, which is free. And then there's SCP-087 Recovered Document, which is $5. There's different monsters each time. Hmm. Wait, this one is FMV. This has full motion video? It's early access. 087 recovered document appears to be full motion video. Um, let's see. Features video cutscenes with a real artist. Horror atmosphere. Full retelling of object SCP-087. Story mode, free mode. Now you'll know what's hidden under the top secret. There's a plot in horror. Video extracts with lively actors. Our lives are full of exciting and terrifying moments. The objects we are studying are basically used for weapons development. We sacrifice thousands of lives in sake of studies. The purpose is warfare, as they say, but in fact we are executors who have forgotten what pity and mercy are. We do what we, mu- we, do what we must because we can. Uh, there are very few good ratings of this game. <laughs> 
Wow. Okay. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this one because I don't want to spend five dollars on it. <laughs> Secret laboratory is. The multi secret lab is multiplayer. Well, I don't want multiplayer. How do you multiplayer this? It's based on SCP containment breach by Undertow Games in 2012. Huh, okay. I don't... I don't know. Okay. Lively actors. Yeah, apparently, I'll, if, I'm, if I wanted to play it, I'll have to download the... the, 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 the original version, because... What's, what's SCP The Will of a Single Tail demo version? It appears to be a visual novel. Kind of, no. That's weird, too. It's all in Chinese. It's a story told in the worldview of the SCP Foundation. That's very strange looking. P.S. It is currently being translated into English sentences. So it, I don't think it's quite ready yet. Recommended games more like this. Zero Escape of the Nonary Games. The, I must admit those games have passed me by. <clears throat> if we're still alive in 2023, yes, I will play Final Fantasy VII with you. It's a big if. I beat Contradiction already. Although, I mean, if there's other endings, I'm interested, but I don't think so. Alien Isolation is terrible. Why do people like that game? Don't answer that. It's terrible. Uh, well, I think I'm done with horror games for tonight. But I'll think of something else. What's Pete? You keep saying Baldi's Basics. What the fuck is that? I'm gonna regret typing this in. I know I will. Well, it's not on Steam, so fuck it. I don't care. I don't have BattleTech. I, I think I played Alien Isolation already on stream, and it was terrible. So. I did, yeah, I remember that because I remember playing. It was it was really scary the first time I played it, and then I died, and then I had to play the same forty five minutes of gameplay back over again, and then I died, and then I had to go play the same forty five fucking minutes of gameplay over again, in the exact same area, and dying in the exact same way. It stops being scary after the ninth or tenth time. Thank you, Daryl. <laughs> I, I do appreciate it, Daryl. Thank you. Come to Russia. I don't think that's going to happen. Stop yelling at me, Moofy. I don't want to. I don't want to go to Russia. Now, Alien Isolation did not, of course, have. A man with a power drill, but what other games do? That's the none. That's how many none.
Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, we are getting deep, deep into visual novel recommendations, so I'm going to cut it off here. But thank you very much for watching. If somehow you enjoyed that, like if, if somehow you enjoyed watching that game, I have more. No doubt I'll get to them when I'm feeling like I can use another shrieking noise-induced migraine. But I, for some reason, I always am. <laughs> so I will see you next time. Subscribe if you like, recommend, and show your friends. And, uh, and I'll see you back in 2023 for Final Fantasy VII. At minimum. <laughs> I'll see you next time. What do I play next? <laughs>